Okay, so now we're going to talk a bit about some more transformers. In this case, we're going to get a little crazy, and we're going to use these two flatteners in particular, and um, we're going to read um, some non. We're going to read some XML or web data. Okay, so this one there's going to be more moving parts, and so one of the key things to remember with FME is while I've been working with XML files so far, the data doesn't have to come from a file. To FME, the web is as easily accessible. We're gonna this one. I'm gonna have to move quickly on this one, but I'm actually gonna read data from a website. Okay, straight and the, website. straight off a website. Yeah, we're going for it. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Okay, we'll close these guys because we don't need them anymore. No, I don't save any of this stuff. Rebuild it on the fly next time. Okay, so here we go. So we're going to go to the CBC website. Okay, and um, if I type cbc.ca slash RSS, you're going to see, hey, there's a nice website there. Okay, we won't talk about the Canucks, but anyway, there's a great website here. And what I want to do is I want to read this data. Okay, so I'm going to use FME to do that. So I'm going to pop up an empty workspace because I like to uh, to, to start small. And um, whoa, uh, whoa, not sure what happened there, but it was loud. Okay, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a text file reader. Okay, and in this case, I'm going to specify that I want to read directly from the cbc.ca slash rss. Okay, and I'm going to say read whole file at once. Okay, and it's as easy as that, Laura. Cool. It just copies everything from That's, that yeah, it's going to send an HTTP request. I'm going to log it just for fun. And now I will have logged it, and we will see here is the contents of that. And this, could, and this is exactly how you work with any web service, because you could view the web, maybe that was a web service call, I just didn't know, right? All I know is I send some HTTP in and I get back some data. In this case, it's not even XML, it's HTML, but you know what? Doesn't matter. Close enough? It's close enough for, for, for us. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go down, we'll find some um, XML documents in here, there they are there, and I actually want to, because uh, these are the actual RSS feeds, so what I'm going to do is I want any, I'm just going to grab any line that begins with that, okay, so, and I'm going to do a text filter, but what I'm going to do first is, I read the whole file at once, now I, since I only want those lines, I'm going to want to read um, line by line, so I'm going to go like that, and now I'm going to put in the test filter, Okay. Even though I'm looking for strings, the test filter is st my favorite string searcher now. In an FME 2013, I mean, look at how easy this is. Okay, I'm going to say attribute value. Well, there's only one in this case, and I'm going to say contains. Okay. Whoa, matches regex. I'm not that sophisticated, so we're just going to say contains, and I'm going to paste that in there like that. And uh, okay, oh, let's give it a name, and we'll say found XML, like that, okay, and I'm going to log that, and um, we're going to now see how many times I find that, so I'm going to run that, and now what I will have pulled out of that document is the 58 lines that were actually links to XML documents online, and what's really cool is in the, in the our logger, Wherever there's an HTTP, it turns it into something I can just click on. So if I actually click on this link, up comes a browser, and I go right to the XML documents so I can see what I potentially could pull out. So how cool is that? That's pretty cool. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, though, is what I want is I want the information from this XML document, this, this piece here. And that is XML. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the XML flattener, okay? So I'm going to put an XML flattener right here, okay? XML flattener, and I'm going to tell it I want TD, okay? Do, 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 do. And I'm going to say, well, it's not a file, it's an attribute, and the attribute is called what? The attribute is called text line data still? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, it is. Look at that. 
and this attribute. Well, there's only one, so it must be it. So that makes it really easy. And the element I want to match is TD. Okay. Like that. And so I'll run that again. Okay. And then we'll get a log here. And there we go. If I scroll up again here, we're going to see that now I have it blown out here. Okay, so there's where the value, a and a.href. And so I'm going to expose those. Okay, so now I'm basically, the reason I expose them is then I can work with them further down the line because, of course, so this is all dynamic. And so the workbench um, doesn't itself know what those are. So now I got this a and href as um, attributes that FME knows about. Okay, so now. I want to retrieve those things. So how do I retrieve those? Well, I'm going to use the HTTP fetcher. HTTP fetcher. Okay. And output. And I'm simply going to say, um, let's fetch the target URL, which in this case is going to be a.href. Okay. And we'll call it fetched. Fetch document. Okay, and um, there we go. And so now what I will have done is I will have fetched a whole bunch of uh, documents and you'll see them go by. I'm going to put a sampler in here because this would take a while because now I'm basically, you know, just banging on this. You can see all the documents come screaming down as I do HTTP fetch after HTTP fetch. Still, it only took, a, it only took um, you know, 10 seconds, but hey, 10 seconds. Is, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a sampler in here, okay? And um, we're, then we'll only read the um, the first one. And I'm just going to say sampled, input sampled, and I'll click here and say first and features. And so now um, I'll only read the, the first one. So if I run it again now, you'll see that I only read the first one. So now if I look at what I'm getting, I'm actually getting out the retrieved document. You can see there's a whole bunch of items. Now this is XML, and so what I can do now is, but I want my to blow my XML up into each little item. I want each item in here to be a separate feature, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the XML fragmenter to turn each of those little items into XML document into a separate feature. So I can use the fragmenter, okay? And there we go. And I basically say I want um, item. Okay, Juan's watching carefully to make sure I don't screw it up, mess it up. Okay, so it's going to be fetch document. And the elements I want to match in this case is just item. Okay, and I'm going to flatten. Okay. And again, what we've tried to do is to give you the, cap the things you want to do. It would be a drag if I had to fragment then flatten. So now I can go flatten right in here. And I'm just going to say flatten. And the, the, the attributes to expose, I don't even know yet because uh, I will know in a minute. So now I run it. And now, basically, I've blown that one of the 58 into 15 features. I've logged it. And now we can go here and have a quick look. And you can see that I have description and um, or have title and link and so now I could do whatever I want to do with that first for sake of brevity let's write that to a text file okay and we'll put it in um, demos RSS feed output found news text sure okay and we just and it's over here and what I'll do is I can put a string concatenator here okay I'll connect it here String concatenator, okay, concatenator, and we will write um, title, okay, title, and we'll drag out um, whatever value it was. Did I expose it? I probably didn't even expose it yet. Okay, you get the idea. Okay, fragmenter, I got to expose what items. <laughs> it's going to be, i got to run it again. Okay. Okay, so we go up here, and we're going to expose link and title. Okay, so here, link, link, title. Okay, hopefully I got the case right. Link, title. Okay, okay, string concatenator. And then I can just simply grab the link or title here. Okay and link and put the link out there 
okay, and then put a couple spaces, okay, and now I simply grab the concatenated and connect it to text line data, okay, it's down here, and now I've effectively built um, extracted those, and I could go anywhere. I could even write another web page if I wanted to. So, um, okay, that's run, and over here, okay, there it is. There, and you can see title and link are all there. So, anyway, I could I could fix that up later. But you get the idea, mm -hmm. okay? So that's you know showing FME reading other things besides um, just files. So any web service that return, returns XML, you're ready to go with, uh, with FME. Okay, so that was writing. We also have some canned writers, okay, so, um, and um, you can go to how to drag and drop simply going to, to XML. So you might have the case where somebody says, hey, I just want an XML document, and uh, you really don't care which one, so you can, um, you can do that too. 